Well, hello, YouTube. This is the introduction video of sorts for White Betty, aka Bitch and White Betty, the box of surprises. It's a 2002 high top X uh, Hydro Quebec van with some pimping bags. They would have been cool a few years ago, but they're still kind of cool. They look better. And uh, yeah, man, it's got a few uh, neat little things and a few less neat little things. But overall, it's a diesel, low mileage. Obviously, it's 20 years old almost, so. It's got to have some imperfections, of course, but overall, except a few things that I'll get into, not so bad. So what's the good? Well, the good is, well, sliding doors, because sliding doors are cool, even though this, like, Gap here is very, very minimal, but there is a gap, so just cannot get bigger tires than that. That's why some people prefer the barn doors, but hey, you take what you get. So the cool part is this is somewhat isolated, not the front of the cabin. And uh, yeah, man, you can stand up. It's got some windows. With, uh, I got some uh, bug thingies here. Some uh, moustiquaires in French. Forget the English thing. Uh, it's got a very, well, I'd say a fan, but it's not a fan because there's no fan, but it does sort of kind of give you some aeration because it does open up. And it's got a window with like the crappiest quality tint but it opens this one has a moustique but if the moustique is big enough from here it will cross over and yeah it's like isolated it's got some electrical connections found a dead battery in here uh, yellow top optima but it was dead uh, probably diesel heater exhaust and overall, not too bad. Not too bad. And, uh, yeah, man. So, seats were kind of nasty, so I threw some sheets over them. And same thing for the steering wheel, man. Uh, it's so skinny. I don't want to make it too much. So, that's what we're going to do with the van. Whole bunch of things doesn't work like for example one cannot lock this from inside and then on this door I cannot unlock it from outside so it's kind of like well you have to remember which door works this one key won't turn the other one from inside it won't turn Sort of a mismatch white, but uh, yeah. So all this metal stuff's gotta go, and the hooks. Cause eventually we're gonna be sleeping in here. But overall, man, high roof, isolated. So I don't know which R rating it is, and I got like some plugs here that if I need to connect some electricity from the outside, it's feasible. Which is pretty cool. Ah, a bunch of spiders made their houses in my van. Get out, guys. It's my van. So... <laughs> Solid van overall. But... Let's start it up. That's the part you guys like. Sound of the diesel engine.
we'll uh, wait the start procedure going on. So, used to have a whole bunch of troubles with the starting. I can show you why pretty much. This was kind of like the cable going to my starter. So you may see it was not in the best conditions. Not only that, but it was like not even holding properly or anything. And I'll cut to this part being a bit more disassembled right now. Because I had to change the fuel pump on this bad boy. And that took a huge chunk out. <laughs> Alright, so why is half of my engine undone? Good question. Top half, at least. <laughs> so we're trying to get to the fuel pump. Is the fuel pump be leaking? Therefore, she not be starting. That's the situation as we speak. And the fuel pump is hell expensive it's 21 year old Chevy truck I don't know why it's so expensive but it is and I'm not doing this by myself because yeah <laughs> took the seat out dash out so here she is Betty what a missing fuel pump oh I'm soon to be that's it other than that, she's good. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, there it is. Go here from the outside. Classic diesel. Good sound. Headlights are kind of cropped out. No change those. So yeah, that's my 3500. High top, low mileage, about to be converted, not just yet, but soon enough. <laughs> so we'll show you the step by step, how we're going to get Betty White here into the best behavior and a nice little comfort. It's going to bring us, me and Sarah, all over the place. There it is. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Subscribe for more cool content. So if you're wondering how it drives, first you put it in drive. I'm gonna sort of put the seatbelt on because I you know you're filming on the phone. <laughs> At least let them not catch you with a seatbelt. And yeah, I'm still going 14 kilometers an hour apparently while standing still. See the turning radius on this. We'll do it. So the lower backing up. Okay, progress report. We're building a bed. So far, so good. Ran into a few troubles, but it's solid. Yeah. Okay, so this is the setup of the bed. It's a bit basic, but we got a hinge here, which means if my lovely assistant would like to show us. Assistant? Well, uh, woman, girlfriend, cut. Bit of a progress report here. Got the bed uh, somewhat assembled, nailed down, well, screwed down. And we got a hinge. So if our chief engineer wants to show us what it does, please. 
it's going to turn into a couch somehow once we stabilize it and everything. But uh, yeah, that is where it's getting. Well, thank you, chief assistant, chief engineer, head of the project. Lovely woman. Okay, so here we test out the bed, which <laughs> is a good thing that we're not too tall because it would be a tight fit. But Sarah did an excellent job of cutting it here. So yeah, we fit. Tight, but we fit. Fantastically. Exactly. Good job, us. <laughs>